father it is. The research goes on. I'm listening to Revelation song, Revelation and song, both parallel father. And um, I can turn this off for the video. Uh, so the holy words of Jesus, um, you see the father everywhere. That is the word above all words. Um, whatsoever, this is my new favorite word, whatsoever and whosoever, both parallel father. Whatsoever, and Jesus just lays out all these plus one words. It's mind blowing once your eyes are open to it. Whatsoever ye shall ask, like everything is father, father, father. And look at these singular A's in all of these words. Whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name, he, he will give it to you. He will give it to you. Even the word he parallels father. It's so simple. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father, he will give it to you. So everything comes from the Father. Hitherto, I'm very attentive to words that have like their in it, like Father. That's a gorgeous word. Hitherto, have ye asked nothing in my name? Ask Father, and ye shall receive that your joy may be full so be full as father again he's just confessing it mathematically because he built these words together with the father um but i had words so be full <laughs> be full i've had words from the lord like be strong be full equals father <laughs> um these things I have spoken unto you in Proverbs. Oh yeah, Proverbs. Cool. I shall speak no to you, but I shall show you plainly of the Father at the day you shall ask the Father. See, this is so important about the Father. At that day, ye shall ask <laughs> in my name. Even that gorgeous set of letters. In my name parallels Father. And I say not unto you that I will pray the Father for you, for the Father himself loveth you. The Father himself loveth you. Um, because... <clears throat> Because ye have loved me and have believed that I came out from God. I came forth from the Father and am come into the world. Again, I am come I came forth from the Father. Um I came forth from the Father and am come into the world. Again I leave the world and go to the Father. So it's Father for the Father himself. Like, it's just Father. This is the grand ending. Himself loveth you because ye have loved me and have believed that I came forth from God and come into the world. And again, I leave the world and I go to the Father. I am amazing. Father. Loveth. Huge word for Father. Himself loveth you. And that, that is the way to say love. This, the King James is the best um, because loveth, this is so cool. And yesterday I was looking at Jesus with the dialogue with the three disciples. Amazingly, Jesus knowing all that's going on. He's just having fun with this because he talks with three different disciples whose name all parallels Father mathematically. And they all hook up with Jesus to make perfect multiples of three. So first he's talking with Judas, or Thomas, pardon me. I can't remember the order. Then he goes to Philip. Then he goes to Judas. But all of these names mathematically parallel Father. And Jesus is just in control of it all and has, is having fun with all this. Because he knows the history books from the beginning. But loveth Father is flawless. So that's how you should loveth. I actively loveth. I actively worshipeth. You want this ETH on your lips. That's the highest glory of God. It points directly to the Father. I loveth the Father. I loveth the Father, and the Father loveth me. 
Loveth keepeth the commands. Loveth keepeth. Oh, it's just glaring. So you say, I loveth you. <laughs> I loveth you. That's a verb. I actively love you. E-T-H. I loveth thee. I loveth you. I came forth and I go to the Father. His disciples said unto him, Lo, now speakest thou plainly and speakest no proverb. Um, this reminds me of the last shall be first and the first shall be last. The world, you know, parallels the, the phrase the first. In fact, world equals first. But then Father amazingly parallels the word last. Like, and yet the last shall be first and the Father has always been first. So it's this interesting, because clearly the Father is greater than the entire world. <laughs> but I marvel at how the word world equals first and the word Father parallels last. And Jesus said the last shall be first. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world. And strong, like it's, it's just kind of interesting to me. Father, and then just by way of comparison, last was... Six points off, you know, there's a father going to, I'm going to the father. Though now the speaker's plain, so there no is just something Jesus answered, Do you now believe? Behold the hour cometh, yea is now come. There's a great way of saying yes. Yea. Oh, we miss this without the King James. And behold, Father, behold, the hour cometh. Father, see that? Come. Oh, it's just leaping out at me. Cometh. Cometh here. I loveth. Why would you cometh? Because someone loveth. You only come to someone if you love them. Why, why do we not have <laughs> any people in our lives? It's because we're not loving enough. <laughs> no, I'm serious. How can you come to someone if you don't love them? Like, it's just, it's not rocket science. It's like, who's going to come to you if you're not lovable? Okay, no, seriously. Like, you know, people with their pets, come, you know, hurry, come here. They're just like, well, the dog doesn't love you because you don't treat him well. Cometh, loveth. Like, once you know the math and that these are perfect for father, you're just like, who's going to cometh unto the father if the father doesn't loveth them in return? Well, God, you're just like, okay, I get it now. I get it. Cometh, loveth. It's just like sitting there. Cometh, loveth. Keep it. Mm. Cometh, loveth, worshipeth. Mm. And these not to any mention aspect. This week, believe it, thou camest forth from God. Not. Like, this is just a pearl necklace of threes. It's crazy. Not that, or plus ones, any, man. So, okay, Jesus answered, do you not believe? Oh, um, I, the words of Jesus always hit it out of the park, like just this one sentence. Now, now believe, do. Okay, behold, the hour cometh, yea, like, yes, you got to memorize these options for when you preach this stuff. Yea and yes are flawlessly Father. Differing by 18. Yea, yes. What are some other words from yes? Just in the, in the sovereignty of God. Synonyms. Because yes is such a huge word for the glory of the Father. Um... What are some other plus one words for yes? Well, um, some people will just say it is well. Um, by all means, <laughs> I'm looking for plus ones. I'm looking for plus ones. Indeed, right? Affirmative. <laughs> Man, there's, an, there's not a lot of... Any from Roger, I, I, I uses the same, that's an obvious one. I uses the same words as yay, I, <laughs> I, that it is. Um, yep, oh, that's an obvious one. So the, yep, 
Yep. Yed, yed, yay, yem, yep, yev, you, yep, yes, yay. Well, I, yeah, that's not going to work. Uh huh. <laughs> um, oh, in Canada we say A. Now, now you know why we say A all the time. It's for the glory of the Father. There it is. It's been solved. Now I know why Canadians say A. It's because it's a, uh, it's a Father glorifying pair of letters. Very simple. I love simple things sometimes. Okay, there's a greater A. Okay, we say. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okie dokie. You know, depending on your schooling background, <laughs> you might use okie dokie once in a while. Okie doke. I mark the archaic ones are actually the, the coolest. Yay and I. <laughs> like, we have lost some of this verbiage, man. These are gold mines here. Little. Okay. Okay. Oh, yay, yay. Uh, the word agreement comes. Yay, is now coming. Ye shall be scattered every man to his own, shall leave me alone. Yet I am not alone. It's a good word because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you that in me, these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation and uh, trouble. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm -hmm. Now he's now as the Father prayer again, these words speak Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven, Father. Oh, I gotta get back into science and creation soon. These words speak Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father. First word, Father. Father. The hour is come. And this first statement is also Father Offset. Glorify thy Son. And that statement is also Father. <laughs> that thy Son also may glorify thee. Glorify thee. The, like Jesus is a master of, of mathematical linguistics. And he's sovereign over all this. And so we're just marveling. Um, you know, you can just... Okay. Given him power over all flesh, you should give eternal life to as many as this is like saying, May know thee the only true God. <sighs> give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him, and this is life to as many as thou hast given him. The word thou belongs to the Father, just like the word you. What's the difference? As many as thou. Why? What's the difference between thou and thee? Thou. Or when you're talking to someone individually, it's thou, and then plurally, it's you. I worship thee? Thou? What's the difference between thou and thee? Thou versus thee. And possessive is thy. Thou is the nominative uh, form. The oblique form is thee. What does that mean? Even I need to brush up on this. Okay, whatever. Um, host of heaven worships thee. Thou alone art God. I worship thee. Why is there no good summary of thou versus thee? Oh, finally, someone's got to. What is the difference between thee and thou? Thou art here, you are here. 
Oh, sing all oh, the object. Oh, I see. You are here. He gave it to the. He, but we just we just use the word you now to just wash over all that. This is a huge gem for the father, because thee and thou contain the famous th of father. When the first English translations of the Bible were being made, the informal thee and thou were used specifically in reference to God to indicate an approachable, familiar God. But as the language changed, this paradoxically brought thee and thou to sound more formal to the modern English speaker. we got to bring that back. So thou is when you're speaking directly to the person. Thou is the plus one, which in my opinion can be slightly more preeminent and stronger. Thou art here. So Jesus, he gave it to thee. I, I pray unto thee. So if you're starting your sentence with thou, you are. Like a worship, like if you're talking to God and you're saying thou alone aren't holy, you alone aren't holy. They differ by three, it's the same offset from Father, but thou, I think, is even stronger. I, I really do like thou better, like what Jesus here is as thou hast given him. Like the word thou is literally substituting for who? Father. Like it's a huge word. <laughs> And, and now I understand it, that thou, like, father, mathematically, it's flawless. There's your TH at the dead center. The rest makes 36, just like everything else in father it makes multiples of six. Thou, Jesus is saying, father, father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify the, right, so the is the, when he's the object, talking about him. We glorify the, so that's cool. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God. And Jesus Christ, which is Father, when you put it together, whom thou hast sent, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work, work, the work, 100, Father. I have finished the work. So the Father is the one who gives work, which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, what happens when you close to the O oh Father? Man, O oh Father, such a glorious mathematical phenomenon um, because all the letters that divide by three end up being the bookends, O oh Father. I'm just saying this word Father is meant to be on the lips of men in every con emotional condition there is. And then T-H-E is pure threes, and then A is the one plus one. O oh, Father <laughs> equals number. Okay, O oh, oh, come on, we got it. O oh, Father, glorify thou me with thine own self. Um, own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Isn't that amazing? Before the world was, there was Father. <laughs> Happy as can be. <laughs> Before the world was. Woo! Okay. A little bit of a... Manifested thy <laughs> name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me. Thine they were. They belong to the Father first. 
the Father gave them, and thou gavest them to me, and they have kept thy word. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. See, you see how Jesus in this final prayer is giving all the glory to the Father. He's literally saying, okay, these people are watching me and are looking at me and they're the one that I've been seeing lately, but allow me to completely set the record straight regarding who is preeminent and who is foremost and who is behind all this and who is the maker and who is, he's saying, Father, Father, Father. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. He's saying, let's go back to the root here, Father, for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me the words, and for I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee. I believe that thou didst send me the words, the words, the words. Oh, man. Look at the words for Father. The words. When in doubt, put the word the in front. The Father is a creator, but the word the is because of Father. Now you know why it's the most famous word in English. So, the words. Oh, man. The words. And uh, WS is multiple. E, just silly correlation. The words. Um, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, for them which thou hast given me. The doubt it's for I given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. I pray for them, Father, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. Them. <laughs> it just who them belongs to Father, them, them, them. Just the word them. Like the word them. Is one of the simplest words for Father. And it's, but it's, why is this so important? Because it's the, it's the key to unlock, you know, the formula here. The word them is three plus twos and a single plus one, just like the word Father. And the rest all divide by three. But them is them. God gave me a revelation that my name has that phenomenon. Three plus two is one plus one. The rest divide by three. But them. Aye. Now I know I, I like saying I, Father, I, I, yay, yay. I've always liked saying that. Have you ever liked saying that? Say it right now, you'll get happy. It's Father, I, yay. I don't know if you'd spell it like that. I, yay, yay. I, yay, yay. But you're getting all these Father plus one plus, I, yay. <laughs> Anyways, technically maybe you're saying it three times. I, yay, yay. It's just kind of rolling. I, I, I. Ay ay ay. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's the way they used to way say yes in Scotland or Ireland. Ay. So then they'd say, yes, yes, yes. Ay ay ay. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. Ay ay ay. There you go. 93 in nine letters, 30 strokes, and of course each word is plus one, plus one, plus one, father, father, father. Ay ay ay. You know what? I, is, that, is that how you spell it? If it is, it's yes, yes, yes. I want to know. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, it's yes, yes, yes. Now, if people start spelling it like that, I guess you could. But I think it... Like, ay, ay, sir. Exactly. Ay, ay, sir. Is another famous example of plus father, father, father. I, I, sir. Adds to double love perfectly, but it's father, father, father. The word I, which came into the English language, meaning yes, even so. Holy verbiage, I. I. Meaning yes, even so. So I, I, sir. And I, 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 I. I believe that's the origin, is yes, yes, yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. And we say, less, yes, lords. Father, father, I, 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 sir. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I, I, I. Okay, okay, that was fun. Anyways. Um, nothing again for the thine, all mine. Now I move, but these are in the world that comes to the Holy Father. Holy Father. I can't believe we haven't talked about that one. Uh, yes, obvious. Um, Keith and I don't even know it's going to be one. They may be one. They and them. That's crazy. They and them. They and them. Obvious for Father that they may be one, Father. Ay, ay, ay. When I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Now, those who thou hast kept, you're just like, Father, 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 none of them is lost but the son of perdition. The description might be. Now I go into the. I pray not that. I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm saying truth that works. Truth. Uh, Father, now I'm in the world we lose on us. Ah, thou lovest me, lovest. <laughs> There's a great classic. I've, I haven't seen that form of love in a long time. But lovest his Father before the foundation of the world. O oh, righteous Father, and I always wondered about that one, and now I know why. It literally is three, two, one. O oh, righteous Father. Now I understand it. The world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. And the final word is them. I have declared it unto them. Like, like this word them. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it. He's not lying. He's like, I've declared unto them thy name. Like, it's maximum. Like, that is the end. All righteous, it's all the Father. Father, 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 it's giving me more. You need loves me. All righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee, and these have known that thou hast sent me, and I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. You see how the final word, the first word of this whole prayer is Father. Like, if I do a search for them in John chapter 17, this is good, like this is for the mathematical glory of God. So the first word is Father, the last word is them. Oh man, the formula has been revealed, folks. The formula has been revealed. You can name your children, like, in this way. Give your children the middle name Father. God will love it. Um, and uh, so A differs from an M by 12, and then F and R is them and they. Like, this is the symphony. This prayer is the symphony of them and they. And this is so beautiful. Oh, man, it's just falling into our lap. Because an M and a Y differ by 12. That is genius. That means a Y differs from an A by 24. An M differs from an A by 12. And it's all, and this is 24, bookending the famous thought and father. Them, they. Where's the dictionary? I need I need a few more TAGs just to just to make sure we're not missing any glory here because this is the glory of Jesus. T H E. Just quickly here. You know what? I got the I got a bigger dictionary here. Webster's College. Uh, the Q R S T H E. I just want to do a little diligence here. Um, I'm sure everyone wants a piece, piece of T-H-E, so there's probably going to be a shocking number of them. Um, T-H-E. Uh, theater, theatrical, theatrics. Seeb. Seca, Keisha, Sheath. Seca, that's a big one. A Keisha, Sheath, enclosing an animal organ. All oh, scientific terms are just crazy. Theirs will work also. Them, they, theirs. Uh, them, we just got. Them, thematic. Scooping up a little extra gold here. 
theme, theme song. <laughs> That's hilarious. I mean, just theme song, theme park, his father, theme, them, then, and then we're thence. Thence would work also. I don't want to belabor the issue too much, but the theocracy, the theodicy, theodolite. Oh man. Okay, there, there's a silly number of them, but we can use a computer, and the word theory also comes to mind. And uh, I'll just see if there's anything famous that jumps out at me. Oh, theologian. Um, how did I miss that? Oh, theologian. <laughs> like, one of the biggest of all. Theologian. <laughs> There, so I solved every theologian to the Father. Ah, that was worth the price of patience. We got that one. Oh yeah, that one felt good. Okay, we solved the theologian. Oh yeah, that one felt good. Okay, so there you go. Theologian is in the house. There it is. <laughs> that felt really good to get that one. Okay, so look at this. Oh man, that was worth the price of admission. Okay, th there you go. Theologian, I was waiting for that. Theodoric, king of the Ostrogoths, ruler of Italy. Theodosius, okay. Okay, no, 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 we were looking, the we were looking for something that really mattered to a lot of people, and that's theology, theological, theologians. Theological is in the house. The pertaining with theology is theological instrument of pertaining to a theological seminary. Theological virtues. Um, okay. I'm solving theological virtue. Okay. Theological virtue. Any of the three graces: faith, hope, or charity. Theology. Theomorphic. Theomorphic. Having the form or likeness of God, or a deity. That sounds like Adam made in his image. Theonomy. The state of an individual or society that regards itself as being under the rule of God. I didn't even know this word. My education was so pathetic. Theonomy. The state of an individual or society that regards itself as being under the rule of God. Then that we would be what is called theonomous. We would live in a theonomy as opposed to a frenzy. And a madness house, a theonomy, theophany. These are all the best words ever that point to the Father. Theophany, a manifestation or appearance of God. A, th a theophany, a manifestation. The word epiphany, I know. Epiph epiphany does this well. Oh my. Epiphany, just like revelation, belongs to Father. I had an, uh, uh, man, I can't even, epiph, epiphany, father, revelation, father, okay, whoa, hot stuff here, theophany, theo, theophyline, theorem, theoretician, uh, Theorist, theorize, theory, okay, we know theory. Okay, take a deep breath. Interesting, if you have the theory of everything, everything is father, and theory is father. Um, this is hurting my brain, I feel so ignorant. Because no one taught us these words in school. Theosophy. Oh, okay. These are some, okay. And then you have therapist. Therapeutic. Therapeutics. These are all father words. Therapy, and then, whoa. Okay, so I, I was just, whoa. Yeah, a lot, a lot of. Hey, caramba. Teresa, anyways. Okay, so. 
theory act therm, and then you get into thermal and th thermometer and all this crazy stuff. Stuff with thermal energy, thermometers, thermography. This is a sick list. I should almost. I'm almost out of it though. The thes. Thesaurus, of course. Um. Oh, oh man, Thessalonians zero point zero 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 zero. These, 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 uh, CCs would work. Theses, just like the word truths. They. So it's like Jesus. Okay, there's so many words in here. Um, but I just want to get the theologian ones down there for now. Theologian. Theo and then so anything based on theologic. Theological virtue. Theologize, theology, theomorphic. So just a few other Theo words. We get the, we know what's going on. We don't need to belabor. Theomorphic. Theonomy is one of my favorites. These these next two are huge. Theonomy, and they both they're mathematically flawless for father. So theonomy and theophany. A theophany is the state is a manifestation or appearance of God to a person. A theophany. It's like an epiphany, just like a revelation. And then, so, wow, all that came to us from the word them. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great day in paradise. So, that is it. It's just, theology is father. So what does this add to? 67, it equals water. I'm so happy I could jump up and down. And then theologian just adds a one, two, three letters on top of that. So theologian, theologian is father. <laughs> the great researcher. And then researcher is also father. That's one of my favorite father offsets. And search equals love at the center. Find love and a researcher. You won't have to look far. They are brimming with patience. A researcher is a patient person. Well, that means they have a lot of love. Okay, researcher equals... I am a researcher and I'm proud to say so. Um, look at the love. It's just RRR, researcher, father, theologian, student, father. Um, wow, three points higher than researcher. Scholar, father. <laughs> oh yeah, I always knew I was something good. Okay, so theologian, <laughs> scholar, student, and researcher are all father. Oh yeah. Okay. That's so beautiful. Theophany. Oh man. It's, and then epiphany is there. I always love the word epiphany. So we got a couple words we can, theirs, them, and they. And there was just one other item we wanted. So we wanted to do something really cool here. We were in chapter 17. So check this out. We want to find the word them in John 17. I kid you not. And you will be amazed at the glory of the Father out of the lips of Jesus. How many times is this word them in that one chapter? Give me a count. 22 times. It might just be the most common word in John 17. The word them. The word them is mathematic. Jesus said the last shall be first and the numbers are coming to the top now. The word them occurs 22 times in John 17. Them. Why don't we add, this is amazing, and thou, okay, look at how thou parallels them. Jesus talking to the Father, there's your TH, and what's cool now, switch into, look at this, 
Your TH goes to the center of father. Oh my goodness, now I'm seeing it in a, in a fresh light again. Look at them and they and thou. What's common? The TH jumps into the center of father. And then the rest, all these divide by six, just like the surroundings of father. Oh, I love Revelation. So an EM is 18, triple six, and OU is 36, six times six, and EY is six times five. Them, thou, and they. All glorify Father flawlessly while maximally glorifying the Trinity. So now you know why. Pay attention to words that God repeats. The word, like, here it is in red. Like, allow me to scroll. John chapter 17. There are 22 instances of this word them, and every single one of them is for the Father. I just said the word them. Every single one of them is for the Father including the last word, including the last three in the last sentence. Like, Jesus can't speak a sentence without saying this word, them, because he's wanting to maximize the glory to the Father mathematically. I have manifested thy name. And then unto is a crazy correlation as well, because the N and the T differ from sec. Like, if we add up all the individual words that, that declare Father mathematically in this final chapter, it'll, so them, them, them. Them, them, them. <laughs> 22 times. Okay, let's, um, just for fun, let's do they, and then we'll add up. So them was 22 times. They is 18 times. <laughs> Woo! So we have 22 and 18. This is a huge, I'm not, this is just silly. They. How many times did he say Father? <laughs> Revelation. Um, he said Father six times. Okay. Um, but actually he said it many more times mathematically, which is the purpose of this study. And then unto is a huge word to glorify Father, very perfect word for Father, all by itself, three times. Okay, but them and they. Them, they, and uh, did I do thou? I don't think that was the last one we were going to check. Um, and thou 27 times. Whew, well, that was the winner there. Oh boy, I, I am getting lightheaded. This is so glorious. So, Jesus said, them, thou, and they a silly number of times in chapter 17 to mathematically glorify Father. Oh, that feels good. So, the big name is Father. Say it everywhere, write it everywhere. Think about it everywhere, and your life will be happy as can be. All right. Man, that felt good to dig up that one. All right. Now you just, just like, there it is. That's why Jesus said thou. That's why thou is what it is so abundant in John 17. Father, 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 every single time. Same with, now, if I, I don't know if this will allow me to, to highlight all three of them. Um, or Now we forgot they. Let's just do it for fun if possible. I don't know if it'll do it. It did. No, it 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 just it just revealed only the one verse. Can I do? Can I put ors? Can I put logical ors in theirs? Can I? Can I? Does it have an or? Can you can you like do something like or? Does it? Does it? I mean, a good computing science. I just put the word or in there once. Yeah. Thou, they, them, and thee. There, it did it for me. <laughs> I cracked the code on this website. I hacked it. There you go. We got it. <laughs> With no instructions. So there it is. So there is all the instances in John chapter 17 of thou, thee, them, and they, which all mathematically, in the tightest packages of all time, four letters apiece, all maximally glorify Father. Mathematically. That's a lot of father staring you in the face. We could add other famous words. Now you can do this through the whole Bible and it'll just scream it out that much more. Um, unto, you could choose all the words for father and it would just be silly. Like ask and all this. And then they, you just keep getting, they, you basically turn your whole Bible red. <laughs> with how much it's screaming out Father. It's like, what words are left over that we haven't... <laughs> like, look at this one verse. Like, look at any one of these verses. 
I and them and thou, like now that you know it's all for Father, you just like, now I get it. I and them and thou and me, that they may be one and them, that and thou and them and thou. Father they and thou and they and thou and thou and father thee and thee and thou and unto them and thou and them and them. You're just like father, 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 father. <laughs> And there you go, thou, thou, and them, and thou, and them, and thee, and thou, and them, and unto... <laughs> it's like, this is apparently the favorite set of letters. I mean, TH is at the center of Father, so enough said. All right, we're bringing back this creamy... Okay, that was actually kind of fun. Um, and notice most verses far, start with words that are plus one, like now, and and, you know, and as, and just, and... Like, if we just add that to the party, it's just going to get silly. and It's kind of fun to just roll with this. And, um, and, and so you're just screaming out this father collection, really. And it just gets really silly. Okay, so we get the idea. Now, if you did that in the entire New Testament, it would just blow your mind. Um, so just, just for fun. Just, it doesn't take long, folks. It really does not take long. It'll just just for fun. We'll just do the New Testament. So we will just do a New Testament search for thou and thee and them and they to the glory of God the Father. Bang and just look at all oh I forgot to put the word or in there. It's not gonna produce much because I need an or. Um and now it's just gonna produce a silly amount of red and a whole lot of hits. Thou and thee. Basically, just no, yeah, every single thou and thee uh, points to Father. Cool. Or thee, no, it was thou and, anyways, okay, you've had enough of that, okay. <laughs> so we saw a theologian this morning, that was really awesome, and a theonomy, and a theophany, and an epiphany. Epiphany. HN hook up to the TH and father. EY makes 60s. 33, 42. Epiphany is just screaming it out. Revelation, same thing. Okay. Theophany, a revelation of God. TH. PH. Oh, that's. There's your love. Yeah, it's just. It's, it's ridiculous. A theonomy. Is, is like a, a country that recognizes God's sovereignty. Uh, I don't know about that. From according to the dictionary, it said it's... I, don't, I wouldn't say it's the idea that the Mosaic Law. I would just say that, like, study the word itself, theonomy. Oh, God is our head. <laughs> like, democracy says, like, you know, people are the rulers. The enemy is basically just saying God is above us all. I, I don't agree with the fact that it specifically is with respect to Mosaic Law. I don't agree with that definition. I wonder what theocracy just... I, want, I don't want to spend whole... Theocracy is going to be... Um, let's go through that. Okay, fine. So we saw the theologian. What other words? We'll just get a few synonyms here. Synonyms for theologian. I don't know if there will be many. Such a precious word for theologian. And then maybe we'll do student. I don't think there will be that many for theologian. Um. <clears throat> a scholar. A fellow. Uh, these are not very... An apprentice, a recruit, a novice, a rookie works, but I'm not really that. Oh, man. Okay, that's fine. We scooped up the big ones. Epiphany. Other words, synonyms for epiphany. I always like the word epiphany because I love discovery. Thesaurus. Um, 
<laughs> Ecclesiastic. Enough of that. Yeah, revelation. A disclosure. A revelation. That's epiphany. An emergence. An inspiration. A manifestation. I want to get plus ones. Uh, I just want to see what God has ordained in plus oneville. <clears throat> um, apparition. An appearance. Interesting. Materialization and oracle. Prophecy. Prophecy is a great father. A prophecy is a great father word. A realization. That works. Okay. Um, a vision. Yeah, I know that one. A revealment. Fine, it's not common, but vision is... Uh, discovery, a coming, a disclosure. Evidence is a huge one that I was getting the other day. Evidence equals water.